Wow, this is finally a good sunset. <laughs> Look at this guy. Anyway, that's the pier. We are in Salinas of Ecuador. So that's kind of bay, you know, Salinas Bay and the other one by that mountain behind the yacht club, Chipipe. Bay is much better because it's more clean. I mean, now it's like a winter, June 4th. So by Southern Hemisphere, it's winter starts here in June. So you see no people. Uh, water is getting cooler, but it's bearable. You, know, you can swim. And that's the Pacific right there. I hate those buses, man. These drivers, they make so much noise. Six o'clock in the morning, man. With their air brakes. Yeah, but this is the building, Alamar, 15 years old. That's the penthouse right there. And this is the AC. You see, everything by the beach is getting rusted. There is a jacuzzi, who is behind the building. That's the Marines. Lazy Marines, but... See. So... They look for the drug trafficking, you know, from Colombia to North America. But anyway, look at the sun. Pretty much like overcast winter times, June, July, August, September. On average, it's overcast. Sometimes, you know, when the sun breaks down the cloud, you get a blue sky. But other than that, Nothing special. So this hotel, a night for one person, like a two hundred dollars. If you have two, it's like a two fifty, two seventy. It's only during high season. You know? <clears throat> the low season, hardly anybody there. You know? It's pretty much the same thing. But the problem with Salinas, you know, there is so many hotels and Airbnbs that competition is very very fierce you know? I don't like it here man it's pretty boring oh I want to say Pablo Hyde I know sometimes you look for my videos hi and i miss you as a brother i miss california i miss of course you know, north america is the best place for easy life Here in Ecuador, I tell you people, you know, it's like people making $460 a month. I don't know how they are surviving, man. It's, everything is expensive. Clothing, cars, food, maybe, you know, you can get by with banana and rice, you know. But other than that, California has more choice and it's much cheaper than in Ecuador.
that's the pew right there. This is the place I stay. So it has two. Two bathrooms. I mean it's not bad, you know. That's the kitchen. This is another bath right there. So nothing special so this is another bathroom uh, bedroom another bathroom that's the living room dining room that's the trash I have to take it out and this is animal channel Australia <coughs> Yeah, Pablo, I miss California, man. All this fucking bullshit here. It's nothing, nothing, man. It has all the amenities, you know. Washing machine, dryer. So it has a good view as well from every window, you know. But there is nothing compared to California. So every window you come, you see the view. It's beautiful. Look at it. And the sun, and the sunset is the kitchen right there. Oh yeah, I, will, I was going to tell you, it's oranges right here. Look, I paid like a freaking $7. And this comes from California, I believe. Yeah. Ecuador doesn't have oranges. Very expensive. It's like a dollar fifty for each. <clears throat> so this grows here. Pitahaya here as well. And all this bullshit here. Apples, they don't have good apples here either, you know. So, yeah, man. I don't know how people moving down to Ecuador from the United States, they're crazy. Out of their mind. Look at that glare reflection. Fascinating. Yeah, these waves you can hear 24 seven with open windows. It's like a lullaby. It's like a low tide now. During high tide, the waves coming over the sidewalk, you know, it washes out every single day. Just a small tsunami is gonna wipe out the entire this town with these freaking marines back to the ocean Pablo I want to say to you goodbye and I love you like brother for all, all your help you know so you are a really true friend you know in this world it's very hard to find people that they help without any payback or any you know, uh, compensations, but I'm telling you, live and learn. We made so many mistakes in our lives.